Beginning tomorrow, a company will post blueprints online that will allow you to download designs for 3D printed guns. And it is sparking debate. In fact, today, President Trump tweeting, this doesn't seem to make much sense. It is a feeling shared by a farm firearms instructor here in Houston. Stephanie Whitfield is live with why it has people so fired up. Steph? Guys, this is where people come to buy guns and learn about guns, but people who work here say there are rules and regulations for a reason. That's why these 3D printable guns sound like a bad idea to them. This is the Liberator, a 3D printed gun designed by Defense Distributed. The Austin-based nonprofit plans to publish the blueprints in just a few hours. Is it the end of gun control? Like, I think it is in, in an essential sense. It's because tomorrow, a multi-year lawsuit will officially be settled with the State Department under the Trump administration, allowing blueprints for these untraceable so-called ghost guns to be available to anyone. I think it's a bad idea. The technology portion of it's pretty cool, but I, I believe that the idea of what it can get to is wrong. And that's coming from someone who makes a living teaching others about firearms in Bel Air. We sat in on a beginner's class in pistol shooting. I'm a gun guy, but I'm a gun guy that believes in rules and regulations. Um, I don't believe in people should have the right to print a gun at home and then be able to maybe use that gun out in public. Several states filed a last minute lawsuit Monday hoping to block the release of the 3D printable gun designs. Texas isn't one of them, but it may be too late. Some blueprints were reportedly posted early that have been downloaded thousands of times already. To be honest with you, what's the idea of it? What is it for? Just to say, oh, I'm the inventor. I started this first. That, that's not, to me, a good idea. According to the people behind the controversial blueprints, they're beginning the age of the downloadable gun. State and federal lawmakers say they're drafting bills to regulate 3D printed guns, but that's a slow process and certainly won't stop these plans from being released online tomorrow. Guys, back to you. All right, Steph, thanks. There is a whole lot more about this story coming up at 530 on the CBS Evening News with Jeff Glor. And we will be live tomorrow morning from a gun range in Cyprus to talk more about this ongoing debate. We are